Good morning, Ender 3 friends. I am back and I made one modification. I put the spindle on the other side and my filament feed is much straighter. I also, though, designed a filament feed that we can slide on and then you can see you can move it in and out to get it at the optimum level. And all it'll do is take the metal bracket, you'll still use the boat nuts, and hook it in. And we'll test that in a minute as well. And then I'm working on a, a bearing that will keep this at the exact right tension as well. Right now I'm printing a crazy little mic mount for my USB mic that I use when I record over at the computer. And uh, I tell you what, I have got no complaints with this system. But like we've talked about before, I'm not building anything tall. Uh, but for the normal things I built, like yesterday I bit, built a wrench to change the oil in the car, uh, this stuff prints fine. I'm anxious to see how many times I can change the oil with it. Uh, Save me 10 bucks over buying it on Amazon. You can see my adapter, which I uh, will put on Thingiverse. Um, nice, firm. This opens up a little bit so it's thin up here at the top, but that's because I put this thin ridge to get over the bolt. Uh, maybe I should work on thickening that. These supports were made with mesh mixer. When you're done, you just simply pull those out. And you're good to go for attachment. So no matter which way you want to adjust it, if you wanted to maybe move it backwards further or forward further, you simply slide it into the grooves and then nudge it down to the place where you want to put your filament stand. It's nice and firm gives you lots of options and I think it's going to be a nifty little way to get this exactly where you want it. Alright friends we've got a few things going on here. Uh, if you're paying attention you'll notice that we now have gold filament instead of the blue that we were using. Uh, I was fiddling around mounting this while printing and I accidentally snapped off the blue filament and used the pause feature. Now with your filament snapped off, I had to take off this arm and then I just used pliers to pull it out. Since I had to use the pause, I determined it was time to actually use the first resume. I've never resumed a print in all my years of printing. So here we are with it resuming. Uh, this I'm thinking may not be a good idea. It just does not feel stable. Uh, so I may rework the design, but hey, I tried it. Um, I don't even think it's lined up any better than it was a minute ago when I had the arm coming out the other way. But it was an experiment and it's designed, if someone has a use for it, it'll be there now on Thingiverse. So, I'll check back later and uh, post something with how the print is, but I just wanted to let you know where we were with our uh, current design on the Ender 3 and this top-down extruder mod. If you like the movie, please click like. If you want to hit subscribe, please do. If you want to be the first to know when there's a new movie from HL Mod Tech, click that little notification button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, Ender friends.